Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Songbird. Dante Black. And we're back for another interesting episode of Polar Opposites. All right, so today's question is, why so many black men prefer to date outside of their race? And I think it's because of, of just a few things. In my opinion, it's that the black woman has become too strong. She does not need a man to necessarily always be there because we used to say, okay, well, the man is the head of the household. He's the one that's going to work. He's the breadwinner. And through the government, you know, giving all these supplements and everything, the black man is no longer in a lot of the households. So the woman had to pick up the slack. So now she has gotten to the point where she does not have to depend on the man as the breadwinner anymore. So I, in my opinion, that's the biggest thing because we can kind of do for ourselves and the man wants to feel like he's the man in the relationship. So, and other races will give him that. They will respect that he is the man and let him play his manly role. Um, I agree with the second part of that. That's probably one of the major reasons. Again, I don't know every guy's situation. I don't know every you know, reason, and I don't have the magic answer. You, know, you do not. I'm do glad not. you know that. I don't have the magic. I'm glad answer. you have acknowledged that. But I know a few things. One thing that I do know is that this. Black females, they have this thing to, well, sh I'm so strong. What the fuck is so strong? Because you're combative? Because you refuse to to be docile? Like, how? What? You, you're you so-called, I'm not going to be taken advantage of. I'm not going to be no fool. I'm not going to be stupid. When you're pushing away the same man you say you want. That don't make sense. You don't know how to let a man be a man. You don't know how to be submissive. See, most of y'all don't know what the word submissive is. Hmm. You see her, she about to go crazy. That word drops. Like, no, it's like, not even Be that. submissive. Then. Oh, God damn it. it what? It's, it's not, no, it's not that because I can very well be submissive. But the thing is, you don't know. So be quiet. The reason why is you have to show me you have a plan. You can't just say, let me handle. You got to show me the plan. And that's the problem. Y'all don't have a plan. A lot of y'all don't have a plan. Okay. So we'll say this. When y'all date outside y'all race, that white man ain't showed y'all no damn plan. And y'all y'all, y'all submissive with him from the jump, from the get-go. You're absolutely all, right. You exactly. Know so, so uh, fuck that. Because no. credit going to get right. No, but that, ain't gonna every come. white person ain't got good credit. Just like That's every true. black person ain't got bad credit. You absolutely so, correct. It was a so thing. it's a perception. Y'all choose, choose who to be nice to. Y'all choose who to essentially allow to be the head of the household. So... If you can allow this this white man that has given you nothing, who is at the end of the day, his family is going to be. I ain't gonna say it. I'm not saying it in a in a wrong way, but at the same time, they gonna be racist towards you. It is what it is, because you got to look at it like this. And this is in the majority of families. What it don't matter what the race is. If you if you got older people in your family, you know moms, grandmas, whatever. These motherfuckers, they done lived through the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. So they done seen a lot of shit we ain't never seen before. So when they families prim primarily whatever that race is, and you bring somebody home from a different race, that's gonna be an issue. You have to be ready to, to, to accept that. And a lot of these, especially these these other races, primarily white, they got they got they got money. They gonna tell them kids like, listen, man, don't bring that nigga in my house. You bring him in and you ain't getting nothing. Yeah, you ain't get nothing. Gone. It's it's out of there. All this little money I help you paying for this, paying that, telling you ain't got to work, I pay all the bills. All of that's gone. And that's why a lot of people, they say, okay, well, you know, I can't date you. I'll be friends. I had that happen to me once. This happened a long time ago. Long time ago. This girl's... She, like you got old or something. I know, but it was still a long time ago. But still. I mean, the shit was over like almost 10 years ago. 
So, oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeah. So it was a little white girl call herself liking me or whatever case may be. I'm like, all right, cool. But then she gonna tell her friend to tell me we can't be together because her parents won't accept me. I'm like, okay, um, number one, I didn't tell I was gonna be with you. Let's, let's start there. And number two, if your parents are racist, chances are you got some racist, racist shit in you because they raised you. So, racist begets racist. Exactly. So although you may not be racist up front, when I piss you off, because I hit buttons, oh, I'm a real button pusher. The first thing I'm cutting your mouth is nigga. And then the first thing I'm coming to my cell phone is my sister to come dig off of in your ass. I don't advocate hitting women, but I got a sister who got a mean left hook. What's up, Red? So, <laughs> I ain't got time for that bullshit. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I ain't got time for the bullshit. But, back to what I was saying. Um, as far as why guys date outside of their race, um, it has a lot to do with the, the black female's attitude. It really do. Do I want to hear that shit all the time? Like, y'all got too much of this and not using a lot of this. And niggas don't be with that shit. Like, we get to the point in life where we tired of your, we tired of your fucking mouth. Shut the fuck up. Like, I'm just, just shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Like, niggas are tired of hearing that shit. And guys can't say that because if they say shut up, then it's like, oh, shut up. So that, so that's auto, telling the telling the black girl to shut up is automatically cutting the pussy off. Well, listen, I ain't fucking y'all. So I can tell you, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Nigga don't want to hear that shit. Nigga don't want to hear you complaining. Nigga don't want to hear attitude. Nigga don't want to hear you always got some opinion given when ain't nobody asks you shit. You get your ass into into situations that you can't get your ass out, and then you call me or call somebody to get you out? Nah, bro, shut up. Nigga don't want to hear that shit. Y'all got way more complaining and way more, oh, you should do this, you should that, and you have less of how it should be done. Y'all quick to see everybody else fucking problem, but don't never see your own goddamn problem. You sitting there, oh, girl, you shouldn't talk to him because he ain't this, he ain't that. Well, where your nigga at? What your nigga doing? Don't worry about mine. I got mine, boo boo. You need to get yours. Then, bitch, why you open your mouth? Why the fuck you talking? That's what I mean by shut the fuck up. You got too much to fucking say about other everybody else shit, but not enough to say about your own shit. You gotta clean up your fr- your backyard first before you go to somebody else shit. Now you sitting over here twiddling your goddamn thumb. Oh, you what you got that? to say? You yes, go ahead. Okay. What you got to say? Go yeah. ahead. Cause Y'all I got- can't see it. I'm just. Now you're saying that the woman has too much mouth, but see that depends on the type of woman you're dealing with. Because just like you said, you don't shut up, but you have to learn how to do things accordingly. Just like you, yes, you could tell I was frustrated, right? But yeah, you didn't see can, me over here see popping it. off at the mouth at your wife. Oh, that's because the camera. But, on. No, you was doing that shit earlier. No, it's not even that. Yeah, you you rolled up on me with a what, what was that? A blow dry? Y'all ain't see that. A blow dry. She had a blow dry to my head. Talking about say something. Say something. Say First something. Off. I'm uploading the video. I'm editing this shit. She got a blow dry to a my head. Blow dry. Say something. Say I something. Know a blow dry. I didn't know what it was. My back was turned. She put it to my head. Say something. And I wasn't yeah. saying shit. I didn't say nothing. I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking. I think that was my phone. See? No, it was a remote. It was a remote. But nonetheless, it's all about the type of black female you deal with. When you got somebody that's actually got some other, actually got something going on mentally, they're not finna sit there and find reasons to argue with you. That's, they not finna find reasons. They should be trying to figure out how to move forward in life. That's very true. That's very true. This but is that's this the is thing why. about it. Y'all need to find the right type of female. But let me ask you this. Y'all always quick to say, it's the females you date. It's the females you hang around with. It's the females you attract. My question to this is, why do we have to search through so much trash in order to find a good one? Answer that. Don't answer it with a question. Answer that. If you start, oh, it's the ones you hang around with. If we got, why do we have to search through so much trash to find a good one? Because 
does. There's a lot of trash around here. Okay, so then so what does that mean? That means that y'all as females, y'all need to cause y'all know who trash, cause a lot of this trash is y'all damn friends. Y'all know who trash. Exactly, but when But when, them the but, same ones that y'all trying to be all hugged up and booed up with. Though. No, no, here's the thing. The ones that's trash, we try to fuck. That's it. Ain't nobody trying to wife no trash. And then sometimes you fuck around and get this trash pregnant. It is what it is. Everybody don't like condoms. Dante Black gonna always keep that shit real. That's how it works. A lot of people think, and this probably gonna be another video we need to play. A lot of y'all motherfuckers think just because a motherfucker had, had a baby that a nigga meant to do that. Well, niggas ain't mean to do that. Niggas out here just trying to fuck something, but a baby came about. So it is what it is. Well, that's who thought we're, that's important. You, you're right. You're right. Stay you're tuned. Right. Exactly. Oh, that's going to be a good one, too. We ain't even did that one yet, but that's going to be a real good one. Stay tuned. But, back to what you were saying. But, I don't even know what the fuck what I was saying. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but, like I was fucking saying itchy damn way, before I was rudely interrupted by this I think that um, a, a lot of the, a lot of the issues, it can't it can be solved. Um, basically, with guys dating outside of their race, it, c it could be... Okay, fuck it. I, I, I'm not even just about that because I'm trying to not, you know, offend people and that's not my style and that's not who I am. So I'm going, I'm going to offend a lot of people. So if you get offended very easily, then cut this off right now. Okay. It starts with the goddamn mamas. Yes, it starts with your motherfucking ass. Because in the black community, the majority of the men and women is raised by what? Black females, single parent households. You motherfuckers are the ones that determine who gonna put some dick inside of you and who not gonna put some dick inside of you. So when you decide to let this nigga put his dick inside of here, you need to know prior to him putting some dick inside of you that he gonna be there. And it's not him giving you a verbal agreement. I mean, he has to invest inside of you. He means not inside of you, but he needs to invest in you. Not sperm, but really invest in you. Meaning, y'all have to be coexisting first. Meaning, you have to be building your lane, building his lane. Y'all have to be going towards a common goal. You got to put the ring on the finger. You have to show some type of longevity before you put a baby inside of me. Y'all don't require that. Only thing y'all want to see is a fucking baby. So then now you got these females raising these men that don't know nothing about being a man, but she just want to raise this little boy and she want to promote this little boy and then she raised him up because a woman can't teach a man how to be a man just like a man can't take, teach a woman, a little girl, how to be a woman. So you got this woman trying to teach this little boy how to be a man, then he grows up and he He's he an got all man. He, yeah, he got all these feminine ways. So what's going to happen? He going to take that feminine way to the next female. And then when you get to that that female, and then now that female, him and that female, now they going to have issues. Now let's take him out of the picture. Let's let's take let's take the man back out of the picture. And now it's probably a little girl. Little girl from this mama, she never have a dude and a uh, daddy in her life. So now she's going to teach this girl all the petty shit she learned from her damn mama. And so now petty begins petty. Now you got this petty ass female out there. So now you got petty one and you got this nigga who's raised by his mama. So basically you got two bitches out here trying to be together. This is where the issue come in. This is where the fucking issue come in. You got to start with having two parents in the household because that's how children are. You got to have the feminine and you got to have the masculine. That's two how parent children household. Got to have two parent household. Two parent household oh. at the very minimum. The very minimum. Oh. The okay. very minimum. At least okay. two parents. Oh. Not two bitches and not two niggas. That's another video. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. Listen, I got gay friends. If you're gay and you're my friend, you know, you know, I'm with you. You know I never judge you on that. But when it comes to you having kids, bro, we're gonna have we're gonna have a conversation. We're gonna have a conversation. I don't agree with that shit. I think you fucking a kid up for life. Now if you go to the, you know, you get your foster kid and they already gay and they already out here doing the thing, I say go ahead and adopt that motherfucker. Accept them into your family because he already made his mind up. He or she done already made their mind up. So go ahead. But when you get a baby from, from nothing and you got to teach them going forward, nah, bro. Nah. 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 All right, uh, y'all. We, we going to go ahead and end this video because this one is. It was all over the place. But it really was. I ain't giving a fuck. I don't never give a fuck. Songbird. Dante Black. Still not giving a fuck. <laughs>